By now, you should have created a profile with a professional photo, a meaningful headline, a well-written summary, and a public profile that others can view. The next thing I want to talk about is um, uploading your resume. I think that's going to be the next most important thing you will want to do. So in order to do so, we need we are already in the edit profile mode, and that's where you need to be. If you can see over here, I've scrolled over to the right, and then what we have is complete your profile quickly by importing your resume. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, and I'm going to browse. I have a sample created. So now we're back in the system and after several tries um, I have determined that when you have errors uploading your resume it's good to try several different versions. Um, so let's go back to import your resume. Click browse and then so on my desktop I, you can see that I've tried multiple versions of multiple versions of different um, resumes so we we've, we've tried PDFs I've tried two different versions of Word and then um, most recently a rich text version um, and that one seems to be getting the job done so you're gonna wanna click upload resume and there it is so um, it starts with our the experience so the title filled in properly the company name um, the industry is obviously not correct so um, we're going to pick, let's see, there's accounting, perfect. Um, and for purposes of the resume, we'll just leave it alone and mention that we currently work there um, and leave that alone. And, we're, and you can see the bullet points and some other elements of the resume have filtered in, but they don't necessarily look the way they should. So... Um, what we're probably going to want to do is remove some of these bullets and then allow some space in between. So you'll want to spend a little bit of time formatting this and making sure that things align properly. Um, we'll just do this first one here so that you can see what it looks like. And it may be one of those things where you actually go back in and add some of these bullets. Okay, so um, we actually have to go in and change those. So we'll just make these summer internships. June 2009 to August 2009. And then for this position, we'll just kind of leave everything else alone and then change the date so it's not confused. We'll make this another summer internship. June 2008 to June 2008 and then the description is blank but you know those can all be filled in later and then you can actually see the education imported itself properly Cox School of Business Masters of Science in Accounting Greg Summers University Bachelor of Business Administration Accounting and we're actually going to edit that so it doesn't say accounting twice we're going to say Bachelor of Business Administration Okay, and we'll say 2006 to 2010. Actually, it's probably more like 2007. And then later on, you can go in and fill in these activities and societies or additional notes that didn't filter in from your resume. But ideally, well, when you look at this, you can see that it's saved quite a bit of time. Um, if you don't like what it shows, you can see other examples, you can reset the information to revert back to what it originally looked like, or you can remove the position entirely. So you can see that you have a number of different options here. We're going to go ahead and save these changes, and um, you can see that it did not like... Oh, okay, so we actually have to give this one a, a beginning date. So let's say we started there, well, let's make it fall. We'll say September... 2010 to present and then let's save the changes oh and there's more okay please correct the marked fields below and I don't see what those are so we're gonna click save changes again Here. okay so now we are back into our account uh, if you recall we found an error under the we kept getting an error message and that was a result of something under the education section 
um, before the dates were showing, uh, well, there was only one date showing either 2010 to 2010. There wasn't a duration of time showing up under either of the education fields, and so we kept getting an error message. So what I went to do, um, I went back and, and edited these um, so that the amount of time uh, the student or the sample profile person was engaged in the Masters of Accounting degree was from 2010 to 2011, which is similar for you. So, excuse me, yours will just be 2011. But in any event, I went ahead and saved the changes on that one and then did the same with the other education, the undergraduate education at Greg Summers University. I made that run from 2006 to 2010. So uh, make sure that if you get the same error message that I did that you go back in and, and edit the dates of your education to accurately reflect when you attended. So that's, um, that's one of the most important things with the resume upload. Um, and as you can see, this looks pretty good. There, um, there's certainly room for enhancement. I think um, some of these bullet symbols can be copied from the administrative assistant role up to um, this giant oil field, oil field supply incorporated role. Um, and you can play around with it and see. The other thing um, that I would probably recommend is is deleting the Southern Methodist University education piece. You know, sometimes things don't always filter in here appropriately. So um, I'll probably go in here and edit this and then click, should let me click remove. Yeah, remove this position um, since that's actually duplicative. Yes, remove this position. Okay. So now when you look down, we have experience, education, and you would hopefully have by now a meaningful summary with perhaps a few specialties listed. This profile has a, a simplified public profile active URL link and a meaningful headline, MSA student at Southern Methodist University Cox School of Business. So uh, this is looking pretty good so far. I think if you had your resume, or excuse me, if you had your LinkedIn profile updated to this level, then you would be in pretty good shape. 